Many healthcare providers believe that ketamine is hemodynamically safer for innovation than alternative induction agents such as etomidate. But is it in all situations? Ketamine is an NMDA antagonist, but has also been demonstrated to affect other receptors including opioid, calcium channel, sodium channel, and muscarinic. The general increase in circulating catecholamines caused by ketamine has been shown to affect hemodynamics in controlled studies. These studies have shown it can raise heart rate, blood pressure, and cardiac output by up to 30%. There is growing evidence that ketamine may cause hypotension in groups with depleted catecholamines, as discussed in the NEAR trial. It was long believed that ketamine would not cause hypotension in critically ill patients undergoing intubation. There have now been several studies demonstrating that ketamine administration may cause hypotension similar to what we see with etomidate. If ketamine is your drug of choice for intubation, please consider resuscitating your patient beforehand or at least having vasopressors and fluids ready to go. Ketamine alone may not maintain blood pressure in the already overstressed patient. It's not all bad news for ketamine though. It's been hypothesized that ketamine might cause an increase in ICP for patients with TBI. While studies are few, there is no evidence that ketamine is harmful in the presence of brain injury, and any rise in ICP was minimally observed without an increase in mortality.